All right, Prezi, uh, solo artist, mentor on the voice. Uh, you had a contract with Leinster Rugby, but I presume the highlight of your career so far was playing for Westmead at some point. It was, uh, it was Mullingar Shamrocks first, then Westmead. And the kind of highlight came after. We, we won an under-21 title together. We did. Can you remember much of that? I, I remember not playing because of my contract with, with UCD at the time. I was in scholarship. And in fairness, my rugby coach there was not keen on me playing. And then I said, I'll come back in for the semi-final, and that was against Limerick. John Galvin was playing that day. Like, John did his cruciate last year, mm. and then he did cruciate again this year, and he's mad keen to get back playing again. What do you think of GA players doing things like that? When I came into Westmead, the senior squad, when I retired from rugby, I had a, I had a hamstring strain coming out of the, my rugby. It was kind of ignored, mm. and I went to the physios and doctors, and they were, like, they were like, yeah, you shouldn't train, where the coaches were like, oh, yeah, get out there. And I'm kind of going, guys, those days have to stop, because these are people's lives. I think the GA probably just get out there and do it. But you see, you physios. notice now, you notice teams like Dublin, who take the, ah, the yeah. sports science side of it so... so like, and th that team will essentially be the same team. When Westmead won, the next year, I just saw players retiring, dropping out with really serious hamstrings yeah. and quad injuries, and that's essentially from overtraining. We won the Leinster title in 2004, mm -hmm. and you were drafted in by Paulie O'Shea. How did you enjoy the training? Hey, it's very different to rugby. The physical side of it, I, f I, f I felt very easy. I felt obviously because I've been so used to yeah. the impact from rugby. But the aerobic side of it, the, just the out and out, don't stop from the minute you you start. That kind of got me up because I, I've never played a sport that's required more fitness than Gaelic than football. Gaelic football. Any favourite players? Um, I least love Anthony Dover. Anthony's you know, one of my favourite players. I suppose he's similar in stature. Well, I used to actually watch how, he, how he, he'd catch the ball, because I used to get really frustrated when I played, that I, I'd be a foot taller than most people, but they were still managing to grab my arm or put, pull out me and something, and just put me off, and like, how am I going to do it? And I remember Bernard Flynn was actually, he said, yeah. watch how Anthony Toll catches. He stands, and as the ball is kicked out, he runs backwards, which is a real strange thing to do, and oh, he gets okay. all the, and he then he comes the forward. And so he does this thing, and I was like, well, that's a really good idea, because he just clears out people behind him and then clears up. And then he just, so there was nobody catching the ball over him. I just loved the way he played. Are your playing days over? Are, you just Are your playing days over, Leslie? Um, well, can't stay young forever. No, no, no can't, can't stay young forever. Um, that wasn't not, scripted, by the way. That was, that not, was. Knocking on a bit, um, the legs just couldn't keep on going. I just needed a break. And it's disappointing for maybe some of the supporters and that, like, but I do hope to go back and play a year next year and then retire in peace. Nice one. Cheers, man. Thanks, man. Thanks.